Hi, I'm John Soother and Managing Editor of Caravan Magazine. And I'm Ben Hackney, Features Editor on Caravan Magazine. Back in June, we headed off to lovely Somerset uh, in a Bailey Pegasus GT65 caravan to, uh, well, to discover the county. We'd heard good things about it, but also at the same time to test this new Bailey uh, designed to celebrate their 65th uh, anniversary. This is a quick video of me uh, driving through Cheddar Gorge. Bits of it were a bit squeaky in terms of space on the road, but um, we got through it okay, there wasn't too much traffic. And the car towed well throughout. The car and the caravan made a really good combination. Um, we didn't have any hiccups. Uh, there are a couple of places in the gorge here you'll see where it gets quite narrow, and we did meet traffic coming the other way, which got a little bit blurry, but overall it was a, it was a really good, secure tow, and uh, the car and caravan both performed well. This is on the run up to Mendip Heights, I think it was, wasn't it? Yep, that's right, yeah. Um, really nice site, really friendly staff, um, and everyone on site was uh, really accommodating as well. So on day two we headed off down to the town of Wells, um, which is about, I think, 20k from Bath. Um, it's a fantastic uh, place to go, very historic, it's got an amazing cathedral, the Bishop's Palace is incredible, and as you can see they were uh, playing croquet on the lawn, so very, very English. Plenty of um, cooking done as well. We had the steak that we bought um, on a shot just a second ago, cracked out the barbecue and got that cooking. Um, plenty of space in the van as well to cook and loads of room to, to keep everything stored out of the way. So this is a Bailey Pegasus GT65. It's a good looking van. Um, it's got the Alitec um, build, so the entire structure is aluminium. Um, and then the panels are slotted in. Uh, this makes for very strong and waterproof vans. Um, at the front you can see the large vertical window which streams light into the interior making it feel, well I think, more spacious. Inside you've got some fantastic medium dark woods which kind of oozes quality but isn't so dark as to make it feel claustrophobic. As Ben mentioned, the kitchen's fantastic, uh, really well specced with the Thetford cooker, there's microwaves, there's space for the TV, all the relevant plugs. Um, and that's towards the centre of the van at the back. You've got a fixed double bed, and behind that the door to the uh, full width washroom. This is the makeup front bed, uh, which makes up from the lounge. Um, huge, bigger than the fixed bed at the back, so you can take your choice. Right at the back of the van you've got a really nice washroom, it's spacious, there's a fantastic shower. As we drive up Cheddar Gorge, um, traffic was a bit of an issue down the bottom because of uh, the obvious tourism and that kind of thing. In terms of seasonal uh, times, when we visited it wasn't too busy but during the summer it'll get rammed down there. So. Be wary of that before you uh, plan your journey. Yeah, I'd be tempted to leave the caravan on site and just head down in the car rather than trying to tow through the uh, busy tourist area at the bottom. This is Mendip Heights, the uh, campsite just above Cheddar Gorge. Uh, fantastic, great views, very peaceful, uh, and there's a great farm shop right next door. Was this the West Somerset Railway? That's right. That's what it's called. Um, took a journey on there. We took the train, the, the West Somerset Railway, um, to the coast uh, and it was a lovely day, uh, really peaceful, through some amazing countryside. We went out on an old diesel and we came back on the Dunster Castle Express, which um, is a steam train, so um, you know, lots of atmosphere, great sounds and um, through some of the most beautiful countryside in Britain. Waterway Park is uh, surrounded by beautiful countryside as well, uh, lots of quiet roads and um, beautiful streams going under a little bridge further down uh, and that's easily accessible just a few metres down from the site itself. Water rose, um, 
about three miles from Wiverliscombe, which is just west of Taunton. So it's easy to find, but it is an adults only site. So uh, you can't take kids along, but it's highly recommended. This is the Haynes Museum near Yeovil. Uh, it's a fantastic place with hundreds of amazing cars, something for everybody. This is the Fleet Air Museum. So this is basically the Navy's Air Force. Um, they've got some fantastic planes there. They've got the first Concorde, various Harriers, uh, Phantoms and all sorts. And it is actually a working base. So uh, there's helicopter squadrons there as well. This shot's taken at Water Row Park. Um, as I say, fantastically peaceful. Uh, there were some really nice quality vans in there which perhaps reflects the clientele. So we fitted in perfectly in our uh, luxurious Pegasus. Um, we were there for a couple of nights, uh, barbecuing, enjoying some half decent weather um, and amazing views across the valley. The people who run it are really friendly and just down the road is a fantastic pub called The Rock Inn which we can highly recommend. Okay, thank you for joining us on our uh, Bailey tour of Somerset. We had a great time and we really recommend that you head down that way. Um, if you do, enjoy the trip.